If your car is misfiring, stalling, hesitating, or just running roughshod, there's a good chance the problem is hiding in one small but critical part of your ignition system, the ignition coil. Now, most drivers don't even think about their ignition coil until the check engine light flashes or their engine starts shaking. But the truth is, this one part, if faulty, can wreck your fuel economy, damage your catalytic converter, and make your car borderline undrivable. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about ignition coils. We'll go through the symptoms, how to test them, how to replace them, the actual cost, and how to tell if it's really your coil or if it's actually the spark plug, wiring, or something else. I'll also walk you through the differences between brands like Denso, NGK, Bosch, and MSD, and how this applies to different vehicles including Toyota, Ford, Honda, and Volkswagen. By the end of this video, you'll know how to diagnose and fix ignition coil problems like a pro. What is an ignition coil and what does it do? At its core, the ignition coil is an electrical transformer. It takes the low 12 volts from your battery and amplifies it into 20,000 to 40,000 volts or more, enough to create a strong spark that ignites the air-fuel mixture inside your engine cylinder. That spark is what drives combustion. No spark, no combustion. No combustion, no engine power. Now, depending on your vehicle, you might have one ignition coil per cylinder, coil on plug setup, one coil pack serving multiple cylinders, or a traditional distributor style system found on older engines. And yes, this is where a lot of confusion comes in. People often use the terms spark plug coil, coil pack, and ignition coil interchangeably. But understanding your setup is critical before replacing anything. The modern coil on plug, COP, design, where each spark plug has its own ignition coil, is the most common today, especially in cars from 2000 and up. These sit right above the spark plug and fire on command, controlled by the car's ECU. Common symptoms of a bad ignition coil. Now, how do you know if your ignition coil is bad? Here are the symptoms that almost always point to a failing or failed ignition coil. If you see more than two of these signs from your car, then it is likely that your coils are bad. Rough idle. Misfires under load or at startup. Check engine light on, often with codes like po 3 equi one to po 3 mar Poor fuel economy. Hesitation when accelerating. A strong fuel smell from the exhaust. Engine shaking or vibrations. Also, if your vehicle is throwing a misfire code for a specific cylinder, like P0303, cylinder 3, it's often one of three things. Spark plug, ignition coil, or fuel injector. Nine times out of 10, it's the coil. At this point, you don't want to guess, you need to test further. Now here is how to test an ignition coil. Before you spend money replacing parts, test the coil. There are a few solid ways to test an ignition coil. Swap test. Take the ignition coil from the misfiring cylinder and swap it with one from another cylinder. Clear the code and drive. If the misfire code follows the coil, you've found your bad part. Multimeter test. Use a multimeter to measure the resistance of the coil's primary and secondary windings. Typical values are primary 0.4 to 2 ohms, secondary 6,000 to 15,000 ohms. Check your service manual for exact specs. Coil on plug spark test. Use an inline spark tester or ignition coil tester while cranking the engine. If the spark is weak or missing, the coil is likely faulty. Scan to a live data. On some vehicles, you can monitor misfire counters in real time. If cylinder 2 shows hundreds of misfires per minute and others don't, now you're getting somewhere. Pro tip. A coil can test OK cold but fail hot. Always check symptoms when the engine is at operating temperature. How to replace an ignition coil, step by step. If you've confirmed the coil is bad, here's how to replace it yourself. This guide works for most coil on plug systems. Turn off the engine and disconnect the negative battery terminal. Locate the coil, usually bolted directly above the spark plug. Disconnect the electrical connector from the coil. Remove the coil mounting bolt. Gently twist and pull out the coil. Before installing the new one, inspect the boot and clean around the spark plug. Install the new coil, reconnect the harness and bolt it down. That's it. Start the car and see if the misfire is gone. Now, what is the cost of ignition coil replacement? Ignition coil replacement cost. Average cost for a quality ignition coil. Denso or NGK, $30 to $70 each. Bosch or MSD, $50 to $90 each. Labor at a shop, $80 to $150 per hour. If your car has more than 100,000 miles and the coils are original, it's often smart to replace all of them at once. Should you replace spark plugs too? Yes, absolutely, especially if they haven't been changed in the last 40,000 to 60,000 miles. Here's why. A worn or fouled spark plug can put extra strain on the ignition coil, causing it to overheat and fail prematurely. 
That's why many coil failures are really the result of neglected spark plugs. If you're getting multiple misfire codes or your car is due for a tune-up, replace both the spark plugs and coils at the same time. Brands like NGK and Denso offer matched sets of coil and plug kits for cars like the Toyota Echo, Honda Civic, and Mazda 3. It's a smart investment. Also, don't forget anti-seize on the threads and dielectric grease on the coil boots. Popular ignition coil brands and price comparison. Here's a quick breakdown of what I've found with various brands. Denso reliable for Toyota and Honda, OEM level quality. NGK, excellent spark and coil products, especially for imports. Bosch, great for German cars like VW, Audi, and BMW. MSD, high performance aftermarket coils. Hella, OE supplier for European models. Retailer prices vary, at AutoZone for instance. It costs around $40 to $100 depending on the brand and model of your car. On Amazon or Rock Auto, you will get a wider variety of prices, better pricing but beware of counterfeits. Price can also vary by country. In India or Europe, ignition coil prices may be significantly higher due to import fees. I am talking up 30 to 60% higher to the US. If your budget is tight, get OE spec aftermarket coils, but avoid no-name brands. Cheap coils fail fast and cause more problems. Ignition coil locations by vehicle brand. So where are ignition coils located? Finding the coil isn't always straightforward. Here's where they can be found on vehicle brands. For Ford F-150 or Ford Focus, the coils sit on top of the engine, bolted directly to the valve cover. On a Honda Civic, it is on top of the cylinder head, sometimes under a plastic engine cover. Volkswagen and Audi, you will find it in the valve cover. Please try to be careful when removing it. Toyota Echo, very accessible, perfect for DIY. Each spark plug for the Toyota Echo has its own individual ignition coil mounted directly on top of it. If you are not sure, use your service manual or Google ignition coil location, your car model, to be safe. Common FAQs on diagnostics ignition coil. What is an ignition coil diagram? It shows the internal winding structure and circuit paths, useful for bench testing. What's the difference between an ignition transformer and a coil? Functionally similar, but transformers are more common in oil burners or older systems. Ignition coil output AC or DC. The input is DC from battery. The output is high voltage pulsed current, technically AC. What is a coil pack versus coil on plug? A coil pack serves multiple cylinders. Coil on plug is one coil per plug. What if the ignition coil resistance is too high or too low? Both are signs of failure. Use a resistance chart specific to your vehicle. Final thoughts and when to get help. If you're getting a misfire code, rough idle, or performance issues, don't ignore it. Start with a spark test, then test the coil. Replace both the coil and plug if needed, and always use trusted brands. If you're unsure or the misfire keeps coming back even after replacement, it's time to get a professional diagnostic. Sometimes the root cause is wiring, ECU issues, or mechanical failure like a leaking valve. But in most cases, following this guide will save you hundreds of dollars in labor and help your engine run smoother, longer. Let me know in the comments what car you're working on, and I'll help point you in the right direction. And if this video helped you fix your ignition issue, give it a like, subscribe for more, and share it with someone who's chasing a mystery misfire. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.